All right, so when you get further into Diablo 4, I believe when you complete the campaign, you come across this thing called the Tree of Whispers. Uh, so basically, it's located in this zone here. Uh, you you actually utilize this early on in the, well, I'd say like Act 4 or 5. You come across the uh, Tree of the Dead or Whispers of the Dead or whatever it's called. Anyways, when you complete the campaign, it unlocks these various, uh, I guess they're like bounties, similar to like the bounty system in Diablo 3. Uh, they expire. They award various amounts of grim, grim favor. I believe it takes ten grim favor to uh, get one of these things from the uh, tree of the dead. But uh, yeah, you have PvP. You have various places down here. The only thing I don't like is that they expire. And uh, sometimes, if it's like a clear this zone or something like that, it might take you more than ten fifteen minutes to utilize your time appropriately. Also, keep an eye on how many rewards you get. So if you like something that takes five. But you only need like three or four grim favor and you don't know, like waste your time. So uh, when you can get your uh, full ten grim favor, you come back to the tree of the dead here. Click on it. Then you can kind of click on what you want. So one hand of weapons, boots, or rings. It's all random. Uh, sometimes there'll be gold, so it's like a guarantee legendary or something. But the uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty simple. You get this little bag right here, similar to like what you get for like when you do uh, like random quests and stuff. Open it, stuff drops, and then you pick it up and you rinse and repeat. See, uh, took me all the way back down to four grim favor. So that's strange. I wonder if it carried over from the previous one. I honestly don't know if that's true or not. So maybe you can do as much in favor as you want. I don't know. Anyways, I don't really like it that much to be honest. Uh, the PvP ones are pretty fun and they're relatively easy right now because there's like nobody in this. Uh, Whatever this place is called, Alzuda. Nobody's there's really nobody in the zone, so it's like a free farm for cosmetics. But uh, I typically do the ones that uh, yeah, this one right here is really easy. Harvest Venice moats from enemies. Well done. You just basically kill anything, and it's really easy. But these ones right here, complete the Whispering Vaults, not worth it. Uh, if it awarded more Grim Favor, it'd be great, but these take way longer. They take you know ten to twenty minutes long because it's kill everything in this area or you know, go find this random fetch key thing or something like that. It's just not it's just not worth it the time investment. But uh if you do have like a you know you need to complete the layer or whatever it is for like a one of your aspects or something like that, it'd be worth it. But yeah, this is pretty simple. Clay spiders, you can combine that with this event here. So find the route that works for you for these bounties. But do the optimal route, but I suggest staying away from the layers and the dungeons is not worth it. Yeah, that's the uh, Whispering Dead so far. I don't hate it, but again, some of the bounties are just not, this is not that fun. I don't really like the dungeon system that much. Um, I like harvesting things or completing some kind of like random event. It's just so much more time efficient. So yeah, I appreciate it. If you like this, uh, comment, subscribe, you know the drill.